You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that saved my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Eric and Angel. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. We're going to kick off the show with a quite interesting fact. Absolutely. Because, uh, because the the truth and they've been researched, these facts, yeah, we allow Eric to... Uh, to bring them rather than as goofy. You know, I, I bring I bring facts all day long. You just challenge them when they're in my hand in the I know, form of a I, book. And actually, I even, you can't challenge them. I do though because I, I need a little more information usually, all and right. nobody nobody can give me in more information. I need more. You need more. I need more more cowbell or something. More, more cowbell. <laughs> I spent uh, the weekend with my father. And uh, and my family, uh, the king of cowbells, right? Uh, <laughs> but no, the, the first With the herd, the first fact, out of, and we, we draw our, our facts out of one thousand three hundred thirty nine quite interesting facts to make your jaw drop. Fantastic book that you should check out as Thank well. You show it off one more time. Uh, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Henry Ford, you know that guy, the the car creator, yeah, mm -hmm. could still do handstands at the age of seventy five. Do you know that? Can you do one? I could not to save my life. No. Have you ever been able to do a handstand? Uh, no, look at me. I'm, I'm no. What do you mean? Look at you. No, what I, is, does height have something to do with it? You're like absolutely. Like you I could do that because further. because of my height. It messes you with can't... the FCC and the landing patterns. Huh. I'm just saying. Because you're taller uh, upside down than you are standing. Did you know that more phone calls are made on Mother's Day than any other day? Did you call your mother on Mother's Day? I probably didn't. Dude. I know. Really? Did you know that more reverse charge collect calls are made on Father's Day than any other day? Collect calls are made to dad, but oh, how funny. Yeah. Did you did you call your dad collect on Father's Day? No. No. Oh, you, you know that that little device you carry around is a telephone, right? You know you can actually make phone calls on it. I know you use it for all sorts of really, other really. things, like doorstop and you and, are going and to go that direction with me. And well, I know it's used for a phone. I just when yeah. was, when did you cut the cord? I don't know when I cut the recently. cord. Recently? No, it wasn't recently. Sure. It wasn't recently. One final fact: Did you know that male ants do not have fathers? What? And I'm not talking aunts. Male aunts have fathers. Male ants have no fathers. Like the insect has no daddy. Right. But only the boys. Who's your daddy? Nobody. Girls have daddies, but boys don't have daddies. No, right? That's weird. You just want to avoid the whole phone call conversation, don't you? You can check the veracity of Stop. these facts at 1,339 <laughs> quite interesting facts to make your jaw drop on QI.com. Are you right, like auditioning to be a game show host? No, but it would work. That game show, QI, is, uh, by the way, quite interesting uh coming from the bbc and it is actually coming to new york city here shortly and if i get uh the opportunity to audition for a game show you may need to, to move to new york why would i move to new york if you're auditioning for a game show Doing a radio show I, we don't even have to be in the same town <laughs> just just go on without me I didn't say I would go on without Jeez. you. I'm just saying That's we don't have to be in the same rule. town. You know, the internet and technology. It's again, again, that little device you use, yeah. you can actually make phone calls on it. You might want to learn, like, brush up on your technology a little bit. Guess who's getting an, a, a new Google? Uh, not Google, jeez. You don't even a know. New, a again, new iPhone. You might want to brush I'm up. A, Me. I'm getting a new iPhone. No, I am. No, I am. I am. Really? Really. I told you last week I was getting one. Oh, you oh. can't handle it when so, I get technology. So because you're getting you, one, I can't have one? Like, what is that all about? I needed a new computer. Who says I'm getting a new computer? I need a new phone. Who says I'm getting a new phone? Okay, I'm sorry. Do I need a computer to do my job too? Do I need a phone to do Don't my job too? Don't you have a perfectly good iPhone 5, what you call it? Don't you have a perfectly good no, iPhone no, 4, what no, you call it? No, it's a 4S, and it's like, um, look at that. Look, look at that. Okay. Yeah, it's a brick. Oh, all right. Well, Eric, um, I'm going to get some new boots. You want to get some? 
Those boots are made some for walking. Some lip gloss? Stop some it. Some go-go boots? Stop yeah, it. these are things I'm going to get. No. You're going to get some too? No. I think you are, uh, you're, you just don't want me to have what you don't have. You're like, you're like Mike. You are. Stop looking at me. No. Are you going to touch me? I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> you are, you are like my kid brother. We have. I'm going to get the phone and I'm going to get it first. No, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you, mean, you no? are not. What do you mean, no, I'm not? Why not? <laughs> Go! Ooh, I think we've just found a hot button for him. He has to have the new phone. We have a fantastic show for you. Clint Rudolph is here with the group. This guy is a Google guru. He's going to teach us stuff that even Angel doesn't know. We'll be back after these messages on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them. It's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lori Ann Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori is your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back to work needs. Call Lori today, 303 419 3415. That's 303 419 3415 or online at lauriancom.com. That's L O R I A N C O M M.com. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Hi, ladies. This is Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part, no more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara and all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150, 303-909-9585. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show, where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show, right here on KLZ 560. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Eric and Angel. We have not yet settled who's going to get the iPhone first, but... 
you better put your money on me. Yeah, he's going to actually have to run out. You know what else I'm doing this week, Eric? What's that? I'm getting a haircut. You it. I hate that! <laughs> All right. Well, folks, don't worry about uh, what we're talking about. The good news is uh, we have an expert here who's going to help us understand the Google. Oh, we do have an expert that's going to under gonna understand. Yes. He already does. He gets uh -huh. to spend a lot of time out there. It's Clint Rudolph with Excite Media Group, and that's with an X, Excite Media Group, excitemediagroup.com. Clint, welcome to, the, welcome to the studio. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's Great to have quite, you back. It's not quite like being on the Google campus, I'm sure. No, it's far more grandiose than here. Do you have the new iPhone 6? Uh, it is on the way. Oh! <laughs> I ordered it, but it, uh, you know. I'm with the rest of the world who is yeah. still waiting for it to come in the mail. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so he can't just run out to the store and, and get it today before me, right? It depends on which one he wants. Right. It's possible. Mm -hmm. it's Clint. Uh, it is not possible. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting kicked under the table. All right. Well. All right, well, let's excite our, our listeners with some fun stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, I think the, the most recent update that uh, I would talk about that I spend a lot of time speaking with businesses about is Google updates algorithms all the time, and sometimes that's really scary to some people. Some people don't even know what the word algorithm means or how to say it, and others try to figure out what it means, but a lot of times they get mired in mathematical formulas and you know tendencies that don't really matter. So um, probably the two biggest lately were the pigeon update that Google uh, released. Um, Google had nothing to do with the naming of that. That was our industry that aptly called it Pigeon. Uh, and mainly the reason for Pigeon is that it was all about local. So a lot of things changed in the real estate space. A mm. lot of things changed in the uh, attorney space. When you search online, the map listings changed quite a bit. Some people got more improved placements. Some people got less improved placement. But really, the whole idea was that Google was going to try to make local search act the exact same way that regular organic search worked. Before, it was kind of if you had your Google map listing and it was you know relatively filled out, you had a chance of showing up uh, for a search in your city. Right Now, the, the same algorithms that are at play in organic search are at play in the local space. And that's hurt a lot of people. Um, Aptly, the directories like Yelp and your local Yellow Pages and the Judy's Book and Angie's Lists of the World's Yelps, all of those are seeing a lot more uh, play in local search because of this ranking signals they have. Like the Extreme Customer Service Directory. That's the one. Yes. The Extreme Customer Service Directory. Those have a lot of power, and that's what Pigeon was all about. Gotcha. Um, and so that was a big one. And the other big one uh, that just was released last week was Panda 4.1, I think is what they're calling it. It's the 27th Panda update. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who knew that Google had pandas? Right. All these animals. I don't right? understand it. Cutesy names. All right. So with this Panda update, does that mean that the uh, uh, the, the, the little guy, the pendulum swinging back towards uh, towards the, the, the average Joe website? That's the idea. Um, I think, and I'll read exactly from Google's uh, press release so I don't boff it, but uh, it says, Based on user and webmaster feedback, we've been able to discover a few more signals to help Panda identify low quality content more precisely. This results in a greater diversity of high quality, small and medium sized sites ranking higher, which is what the goal was. Right? All right. So All right. the idea is, again, you know, it's always about content. Content is king. I don't care what kind of advertising medium. And and part of what I like say content is king is authenticity. Yeah, absolutely. Give us a couple of tips that we can uh, implement today that will help our SEO uh, organic search ratings. Yeah. Um, so the quickly, the, the ones that I talk about uh, the most are, um, you know, SEO tactics can range from very basic to very intricate. And I think for small businesses especially, we wear 35 different hats during the day. So the intricate side, we kind of aren't going to play in very often unless we're hiring someone to do it for us. Sure. But some of these tips are pretty simple for, for even if you have multiple hats. So the first I would say is be sure to have focused, relevant content, right? So you'll always want to make sure that the text on your page is focused around specific topics as opposed to multiple topics, right? Your homepage's job is to kind of give the overview overview of what you do, but your services pages, if you're a plumber, things like that. We don't want 37 things on a page. We want a page specifically devoted to one topic. Can you have 37 pages? You absolutely. You should have 37,000 All right. pages. All right. So it's like the business card that lists the thousand things you do on the back and much, much more. Right. Don't put it all on one space. Give each topic its own page. Right. Because okay. you know how we consume yeah. content as 
consumers now, right? We watch videos. We would rather watch 30 seconds of video than a page of words, True. right? So video is important. If you can summarize what you do in 30 seconds and create a video about it, it's really, really powerful. And uh, for small businesses who don't have the money maybe to go out and hire a crew to do this, Google just purchased actually an app that I've been using for quite a while. It's a pretty brilliant uh, startup out of Silicon Valley called Director. Um, Director without the E or the R at the end, D-I-R-E-C-T-R. Um, mm. It's great for personal use, but they also have a business side that's great. And essentially it's built in with a bunch of storyboards. Right now it's only on iOS. So uh, those Android users will have Hello. to wait, but guess what? Google bought it, so I'm guessing yeah, the Android coming. version yeah, is coming, coming pretty soon. Yes. But the idea is it gives you a bunch of storyboards. So you select, I'd like to make a customer testimonial video. So you grab somebody who's on your directory and you create this template and it literally show, tells you what questions to ask. Here's the shot you should be taking and it puts this storyboard together and you'll create a movie on your phone that's great for your business that you can connect to YouTube or Vimeo or any of these channels, share immediately and it walks you through so you're not necessarily as scared, right? And so, again, the, the content part of that side track of the video is that having really specific content per page is important. Um, Absolutely. One example I'll give you quickly is if you serve 10 cities, right? You don't want to list 10 cities on the page if you're a plumber. It's more important that you list out a single page for Aurora, Inglewood, Centennial, and describe that you do work in those areas. So that's an example of some right. very specific content. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Do you have one more uh, before we have to, to wrap up? I would say that the local citations, your name, phone number, and address the importance of those and how many places they're listed and their accuracy are ridiculously important. Well, it wouldn't be wrong. Oh, it's wrong all the time. Really? <laughs> There's thousands of directories that can get it wrong. And, oh. and, and you know, what we've found uh, is that we post something on, on uh, a directory and then forget about that directory and it's out there forever. That's true. If and you've ever several moved ago. and yeah, ever moved mm -hmm. your, our address, this is like our fourth office address. Right. So, yeah, there are places that we're still listed being, we're, we, we haven't been there for years. I just kind of assume it would be. Goes away or yeah, no, it doesn't yeah. go away. The biggest mistake people make is they try to correct them at the source. So if it's wrong on Judy's book, you go to Judy's book and you correct it, right? The biggest problem is that all of the internet, including Google's index, gets its information from the four major data providers. So that's Locally's, Infogroup, Axicom, and Factual Data. And so if your information is not listed in the four major data providers and a yellow page listing that you never paid for, it's a free yellow page listing, right. right? they update their online ad in their directory with this old address that you had. It's just out there floating around because it's not getting the right signal from the main data providers. So it assumes that one's the correct one. So I always tell people, when you go down this road, make sure that you either hire a company to do this for you or go directly and pay those data providers to make sure, because it is the number one thing. I tell people that was going to be my next question. I was going to say I got an email a few months ago of a a, a program that they update your ad, your content or your address and your information on all these sites, except for Google. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, just that it seemed like backwards to me. It's a little shady. We'll say that. There's a lot of companies out there that will do man hours, you know, in other countries sometimes. I've ran into a couple examples of this happening out of India. They actually tried to do it for my business. It was pretty funny. I had a very interesting half-hour phone call with them. But uh, if, they're, if you're not going through the data providers and Google, Yahoo, and Bing, it's a waste of time. All right, Clint, uh, you, you have Excite Media Group. You're, you're, you're amazing what, what you do. Give contact information because you have more information that uh, our listeners I know would find very, very valuable. Sure. Our website, excitemediagroup.com. Um, the focus of our blog is for learning. So there's articles out there about Google My Business, which is if exactly in the realm of what we're talking about today, your Google business listing for your, for your company. Um, there's a blog on how to walk through the new app and what that is. So every topic on our, on our website is not about sales. It's not kind of who we are. It's more about education. So if you have a small business and you're interested in learning in this space. Our blog has lots of articles and topics uh, uh, posted quite often. As soon as we get updates from Google, we kind of share them with the world, and, and that's that's our job. But the website's probably the best. Our office is here in the tech center but uh, in Denver, but we have you know we have clients all over the country, so the website's probably the best. All right, well, it's Excite Media Group with an X, X-C-I-T-E, Media Group, and we'll post that even on Facebook wall, I'll link for that. How Does that sound all right? Great, thank you. All right, fabulous. Clint, thanks for being with us. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network.
The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Stop repeating the financial behaviors that are keeping you broke. Register for a free tele-seminar on Wednesday, September 10th and learn the common mistakes couples make that destroy your finances and often your relationship. Brought to you by Couples Money, you'll learn how to break the cycle and start creating real wealth. It's a free seminar taught by the Couples Money experts, Chris and Marlo Felton. Break out of your current financial cycle and get on the same page with your spouse. Whether you've been married for decades or engaged to be married, sign up for the free tele-seminar at couplesmoney.com. Com. That's couplesmoney.com. You've done it yourself. You've put in a few keywords to search for something, and what comes up is nothing like what you're looking for. Thousands of responses, but nothing close to what you need. You try again, frustrated, you finally find it buried deep within the walls of the internet. Don't do that to your potential customers. Make it easy. Make it Colorado SEO easy. Colorado SEO optimizes your keywords so customers can find you quickly. Optimize your website by contacting Colorado SEO. Search engine optimization the way you hoped it would be. ColoradoSEO.com. That's ColoradoSEO.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-781. 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. <laughs> Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. Uh, you know, just after Clint got talking, uh, he was talking about the importance of relevant content. And it reminded me over the weekend, I came across uh, an article by GetSpokel.com. That's oh. Spokel is a website, uh, 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 software, and GetSpokel is their website. And it's 10 ways to improve your website copy. And I thought maybe we would uh, bring this uh, to, to our listeners. All right. All right. All right. So here we go. Uh, Sarah Burke is, by the way, the author of this. She says, bad website copy is like a bad suit. You don't have to be an expert to know something's just That's not, not right. right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Here are the five things that your website copy should do. It should tell a customer why your product or service is better than your competitors. It should give visitors information regarding your industry. It should provide visitors with relevant and useful information on your product or service. It should increase your search engine visibility. 
That was what Clint talked about. Mm -hmm. And it should help you learn what your prospective clients find interesting. You can do that through uh, the analytics, right? Okay. All right. So, you know, one of the things I think that when we look at a website, and even we fall into this trap, mm -hmm. Eric, all of the time, and our friend Daryl, um, Daryl Stern with Stern DMB, is, is constantly, you know, kind of just reminding us, because it, in our business, we want, we talk about the features, Yep. we talk about me, this is what we've done, this is what we're doing, this is how long we've been in business, we're family owned and operated, we've... Heads up, folks, no one cares. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then we get stuck in, um, and then, you know, and we come out and we're early and we, um, and we bring all of our own tools and we, you know, use our own supplies and we, I don't know, it's all about we, 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 this is, this is what we're doing. In order to be effective, it needs to be about what the benefits are to the visitor to your website. Right. So uh, the first point is be clear about what you're offering people stick to the benefits stick to the benefits right like why does it matter and you know keep asking yourself why you know why does it matter that you show up early why does it matter that you bring your own tools why does it matter that your family owned and operated right. and keep digging down to the why it would matter to your customer and you'll get to the features and the or not to the features, to the benefits of why they would do business with you the uh, next thing is we need to ask the people what they want you know uh, your customers know what they're looking for we say that the number one way to find out what your customers are looking for, ask them. Ask them? Right. How funny is that, that you I, would just ask them? I, I, no, we need to do, we need to, we need to sit around a boardroom and we need to have sales we'll meetings. what you're looking for. <laughs> Surveys are great. We had uh, Don Briggs from Bravo in a few weeks ago talking about the value of surveys and especially surveys done by a, a third party. Because I think a lot of times we can have these conversations right. with our clients and we can get a lot of uh, feedback and helpful information. But there's also a, an element of, um, you know, they want to be nice to you. Right. And so if there is something that really does, you know, where they do see, I would really like it if you did it this way. They don't know how to say it to you because is without you getting all defensive and why you've done it this way. Whereas if they can do it anonymously or to a third party, uh, that person doesn't, isn't going to get defensive about, about their feedback. Once you found this, the, uh, the survey information, you've collected what it is your customers are really looking for, your visitors to your website are really looking for, create a, an FAQ, a frequently asked questions section that will answer those questions. Again, making your content relevant. It should also be user friendly. Well, what do you mean user friendly? Um, sk I mean, skimmable. This this is actually your your uh, your happy place. If you can use bullet points instead of paragraphs. Oh yes, ain't nobody reading that. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I mean you look <laughs> at all that and you know all this stuff that you want to say and you've got to get these words in and and you've got all this information, which is where Clint was talking about videos because in a if you've got a lot to say and you you're going to type out a full paragraph, this is where you can say that so quickly in a thirty second video. But this you know we're going to scan it. Nobody's going to read all of your information. You think oh I labored over that and that's good stuff, Angel. So what? Yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah. I, I just need to be able to skim it, scan it, and go. Still not about you. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing is. Again, we talked about benefits. Focus on how, how your benefits, uh, your your business benefits others. Don't frighten the customers away by asking about the money. This is something that uh, we had an interesting conversation with uh, with another uh, person here recently, and it was, you know, should you post your prices, your wages, whatever it is, your the cost of your services. And in large part, it's a service-related question uh, because your widget's going to be 16 bucks, and we need to know that if we're going to buy it online. But should you post your service uh, fees online? You know, and it's interesting because, you know, they say that focusing on, on features isn't the only way to scare people away, but mentioning the money too soon right. can also have the same effect because, you know, and so there's... I, I think it depends on what it is, yeah. the product and service that you're selling. Um we don't want your customers to think 
all you're after is money, but there is a price tag to what you do. Eric and I had a had a meeting one time years ago with somebody who, um, you know, wanted to have a, a segment on the on the radio show with us, and there was a we never talked money in the beginning. Right. And by the time we got to that, he's like, "You bamboozled, you bamboozled me." me. Um, th that you would charge for this service. Well, you do have a price tag, um, and you do have, but if there is an element of you need to build up, you need to have this conversation, you need to qualify the people to make sure that, um, you know, that they qualify and are eligible to, to participate in your program, there can be steps along the way. So it's not like right there in, in front of them, but if there is an element along the way that they need to know the price, I mean, they are buying something. I think it has to be. Maybe it doesn't have to be on page one or page two, but at very shortly into the process, you got to tell them what to budget for. Absolutely. Next thing, uh, pretend like you're talking to an alien. Now, and let me qualify that. Uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm, I'm trying to see if I can see alien. Hmm. I, I can, so. actually. Yeah. No, stop turn, that. Turn your pink to green a little stop bit. That. Listen, right at a sixth grade level so that people can understand what you're talking about. It really – describe things uh, for the very first time because if you assume that your reader is massively educated, you're going to lose a lot of readers. Well, you do. I mean, even when we're writing books, um, you don't want them to have to go look it up. You don't want them to be confused. And sometimes there are words that are that are positive words, but they sound negative. If and so you can shut shut people off, and, and if they can't, if they're confused at all, or they don't understand a step, and you skip past it, and again, this is those three letter acronyms. Right. This is your jargon versus their jargon. Um, you know, you have your own language in your in your company, and we forget that our customers don't always speak that same language. Not absolutely, yet, anyways. absolutely. Don't be a robot. And what they mean by that is, uh, listen, forget what you think about grammar rules. You can start a sentence with but, because, or and. You can. Uh, you can. Absolutely. We're not talking grammar here. We're talking communication. Okay. We start our sentences with but, and, and because all the time. That's true. Right? That's true. So, you know, just make sure that you're, you're communicating easily. Um, <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. I, I have an issue with exclamation points. I do too. Yeah. You know, we want to create the excitement for our clients and let them know, by now, sign up today, three exclamation points. Okay. Not necessary. I think that the exclamation point is very similar to using all caps. You're yelling at me. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel no. like that. Right. Yes, I want it and I want it now. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I want to get more information. And I'm not sitting there in my in my chair in front of my laptop looking at your website going, yes, 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 I'll have what he's having. That's a Harry and Sally moment. I don't think so. So right. chill out on the exclamation points. Whatever. Okay. We, we have to go to a commercial break. There's some great content building uh, uh, information for you. Thanks to GetSpokal.com. Uh, folks, when we come back, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel Narek on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stack of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735 or online at MediProSolutions.com.
Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Com. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Dana Lash, after Grassroots Radio Colorado, on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit me.com slash the revolution and I'm a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We hope this is the most inspirational hour or two of your work day for certain. Came across another article. Um, I, I told you I, I went to go visit my family uh, yes. over the weekend, and um, my family has a, a well. There are several dogs involved, uh, but but I, I met a new dog that I had never met before. His name is Blue. Is he blue? He kind of is. He's a little fur ball, and he's got blue eyes it's blue blue eyes yeah. so the blue is the blue he's or a is, miniature australian shepherd is he sad he kind of looks a little sad okay but i don't think he's that sad i think he's a very happy content dog all right okay and i started thinking you know i'll bet you this dog is wise beyond his canine years why would you look at this you should look in his eyes and you you think he's just wise mm-hmm. not not just cute but why i think he could teach me something about leadership Okay, so Eric, um, yeah, you know we surround ourselves with with experts from all around the world. They yes. tune, they call in, they give us expert advice. We attend business training conferences mm-hmm. from very wise people who have walked to the walk we want to walk, and yet you look into somebody's blue eyes and you say they can teach me something. It's happened before. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. No, listen carefully. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you need to know Blue. He's got he's got a, a POW. A POW. Yeah. And uh and, and, I, I, I and, imagine he has four of them. In leadership. Actually he does. How do you, you know Blue? <laughs> All right. Uh here's the deal. I came across an article uh, by uh, Marla Tabaka that says there are th- several things that your dog can le- teach you about leadership. I believe Blue qualifies. The first of these things is the art of listening. 
Have you ever seen that that uh, the RCA dog with his head cocked up like this, and you know he's he's listening to the to the music? Did you see the one where the dog was in the lake and he didn't want to get out, and so he's yowling, throwing oh, temper yeah. tantrum? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so he wasn't listening. Yeah, what? That's a bigger dog. Okay. In the water. Okay, so it is true. Our pets are great listeners. They, they, they don't interrupt. They don't they try to English. fix your problem and tell you what you should or should not do. They don't get defensive. They don't get their feelings hurt. And they are they're incredible. They're incredible listeners. Right. And I think that um, that listening is something that most of us do not do these days. Um, we're just busy, busy, busy. We have our own agenda. We have our own our own issues, our own conversations we want to have. Oh, that is a cute dog. Aww. Oh, he does look very wise, actually. He looks very like a very wise. good listener. Right. He looks like a good listener. So I think, though, we all want somebody else to listen to us, right? Like, you need to listen. You need to be a better listener. This is, uh, this is what our dogs can teach us about leadership. You want to be a good leader? So, but Listen we up. need to be, yeah, the listening really needs to fall fall on ourselves. Absolutely. All right. What else? What else the dog give you? Dogs, they investigate stuff thoroughly. Yeah. To exhaustion. Right. Okay. And I think that as human beings, right. we can also search the internet and do research and pick people's brains and and exhaust the investigation in the research to a, an element of you know what sometimes you just gotta bury the bone or or dig up the bone or eat like i you, do do you don't have a dog do you i don't you don't have a dog because those analogies are not making sense at all no no but, but i know what you mean um here's the deal Dogs, they 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 go around. They investigate everything thoroughly. Then and they and they do it again and again. All right. So here's I the, watch people do that. They get paralyzed. No, no, no. You're not it learning got, from the dog. Learn from the dog. Okay, learn from the dog. All right. I'll center myself and get in my little puppy. We too yeah. should investigate things carefully before we leap into relationships partnerships, transactions, make sure that you know with whom you wish to develop a relationship. That's all. Follow your instincts. Surely you should be able to get on, on this page. I can follow the instincts and I can do a little research, but it's the people that, uh, you know, just make a decision already. Do something. Well, let's see if Move we ahead. get through this one. Move. That's... A cow. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through this one. Okay. Dogs are the kings and queens of forgiveness. Ooh, we could all do a little more forgiving, right? If, do you think that maybe forgiveness might have a decent leadership quality? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Well, um, Pat on the head. Let it, you know, let it go. Move on. Yep. You don't have to stay. You don't have to fester. You don't have to bring it up. And you know, and and we make mistakes. We all do. And sometimes people don't ask. Um, you know, they don't apologize. And um, you know, because communication is is a challenge for people. And even if they don't, it you know, just for our own well being and peace of mind, um, and ability to sleep at night, we need to forgive. Dogs are also very good at sharing. No. Uh, no, they're not. No, they are not. Yes, they are. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're, they're marking their territory. They're growling if somebody else gets too close while they're eating their little... Yeah, they are not. Mm -mm. On a cold day, they snuggle up to share their body warmth. On, they eat out of each other's bowls all the time. They share a water bowl without ever thinking twice about it. And they wait patiently for their turn, respecting one another's needs. If your dogs weren't disciplined, then we have a different issue. My dogs? I'm saying. Because I have so many of them. No. Not today. Maybe because they left. I, I've never had a dog. Does that and say something about dogs, me? How no. many dogs do you currently have residing with you, oh, doggy one? None. Doggy one Kenobi. <laughs> doggy one Kenobi. So, none? So, listen, I'm sorry. How many? None. None. I have none. I have none. I have a lot of experience, and I met Blue. I met a dog. His name was Blue. <laughs> All right. Finally, like blues clues. All right, all right. Uh, which is a trademark uh, from that we don't own. Um, teamwork. 
Dogs share responsibility across the pack. They work together very, very well. The pack knows when one another is uh, weak. They, it's kind of like four-wheel drive. De delegation is one of the most threatening things for entrepreneurs. If you want to be a good leader, you need to know how to lead the pack by delegating. That's true. I think that we end up doing a lot of micromanaging, uh, trying to control you know, how everything works and, um, and get kind of, yeah, obsessive right. about, about things. But leaderships, leaders tend to surround themselves with people that they know can get the job done. They trust those that are around them. They, um, allow others to make the mistake that sometimes the only way to learn that lesson is to walk through that door and make right. that mistake on your own and they allow it, but then they're there to pick you up to forgive you, to kind of dust you off and say, look, you learned that. Now let's move on. Like we don't have to stay in this space. So I like that. Five don't things, know that I get it from a dog. But five, five things that one of us learned from a dog. I'm so happy for you. Oh, I'll pet you on your head. <laughs> All right. We got to go. Yeah. We'll be back after these messages. Don't forget to do business with the people who do business with the pros. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. Visit experiencepros.com. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720 Two three three seven three zero two, or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4808. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Mark your calendars for October 1st for the unveiling of the brand new Extreme Customer Service Directory. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place to find companies offering the best in customer service. The new directory is the very best place to feature your company for more visibility. And the Extreme Customer Service Directory is the only place to fan brag, leave five-star reviews, promote your favorite companies, and share the revolution of kindness in business. The new site launches on October 1st. Take part in the excitement that comes by combining Finding radio and marketing for the best in business. We're launching the new site on October 1st. Be sure to tell your friends. If you have an old car that spews out stinky exhaust smoke, donate it to the Clear the Air Foundation. Learn more at cleartheairfoundation.org. Sponsored by the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association and aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. The Dana Show, tonight at 7 on KLZ 560. 
The experienced pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. People all over the world. Welcome back to the Experience Bros. Radio Show. It may not be a love train, but it certainly is a fan bragging recap time. Every Friday, we open up the phone lines and call it Fan Bragging Friday, where you get to call in and brag about your favorite companies, people you like to do business with. Uh, it's also free PR Fridays because after you say something nice about somebody else in business, you get to let our listeners know what you do for a living, which is pretty fantastic uh, way to get the word out. It's a great way to let us know about your community events that are going on, right. if you're doing an, a charity, um, you have an event that you want to invite people to, this is a great a great opportunity for you. So plug in the phone number, 855-FANBRAG, 855-326-2724. It's toll free. Guess what? What? T minus three days. T minus three. No, Friday. Today's only Monday. Yeah. So, so Friday is five days. Today is Monday. Uh-huh. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Right. And on Wednesday. Is not Friday. On Wednesday, we are launching the brand new upgraded version of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, and you can fan brag right from the website. Right from the website. We talked to Clint uh, Rudolph from Excite Media Group today, right. and he's talking about the organic search, and, and we all want to make sure that our websites are no searchable pesticides. and foundable and Googleable and Google food and all of that. And one of the best things you can do to get your business listed and found easier is to be listed on review sites, right? That's right. Well, imagine if there was a review site that was only five star reviews. It's what? where your brand is next to other companies that are doing a great job. And everybody gets four or five star reviews? Well, you know, it's because it's a fan brag. It's like, it's like leaving a testimonial on LinkedIn. These are the people that like doing business with these companies that have had a good experience. We know that there are plenty of places to go and give a negative review if you've oh, had sure. a bad experience, and those are necessary. Yeah, go to the interweb right? for that. And you can find those. You don't need another place to, to complain. But, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, there, there's, there's an element of somebody was having an off day or, you know, even the customer was having the off day. We want to make sure that when we do a good job, that we've got a culture that's created. You know, when you get something bad that happens, um, we kind of get on our high horse and we ride it until we've told everybody about it. And we're, we're very passionate about sharing the negative story because how dare uh, that happen to me? Oh. Imagine a place where you got great customer service and we were that passionate. I want to make sure these are my favorite. They love me. They do a great job for me. They take care of all my friends and family. And I you, want them to stay in business. And not only that, but you can tell everybody about them. That's what the Extreme Customer Service Directory is all about. And on Wednesday, we unveiled the brand new, mm -hmm. the brand new website at experiencepros.com. It's happening on Wednesday, October first. Tell your friends. And so, if you've got somebody you want to fan brag about, you want to nominate to be a part of the the directory listing, you can do that right on our website. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can I can I start with a uh, fan brag uh, about because you know I, I wasn't here on Friday. So Eric wasn't here on Friday. Right. So we had a little dance party going on. Yes. It was super fun. Charlie did dance party music. My girlfriend, Carrie Conley with Infinite Nation. My girlfriend, Carrie was Conley. Was in the studio. She was wearing her go-go boots that we had got at a great little vintage store. We decided the story, because we picked them up in Aspen, um, that these are actually the original go-go boots worn by Nancy Sinatra when she was doing the rehearsal. These boots were made for, for the walking. video. These boots are made for walking. They didn't make it to the final cut because they're white, but this is our story and we're sticking to it. Oh, uh, you know, I got nothing there. And the, I, the Charlie was wearing the Afro wig with the disco glasses and we were yeah. dancing and bebopping and we were having so much fun, Eric. Um, I probably have only ran the show probably five times. I can probably count on one hand how many times you have left left um, to be out of out of the studio when we were running yes. the show. Um, but I also don't think you've ever missed a show, ever. 
That's true. Yeah, he still calls in. He still stalks. I, I and listen. I and... listen. Not stalk. I listen. <laughs> I'm a fan, right? So uh, I listen when I'm uh, traveling across the the interstates. You know, I, I used to be when I traveled to Wyoming, uh, and and I, when I was flying on Friday, I got to the Houston airport, and uh, by golly, I got there with time to spare before the show came on. And so I was watching, and you guys actually were referencing me, thinking that I'm up in the in the air. Uh huh. And yeah, I thought you were on an airplane. Heck no, I was tuned in, plugged in, doing the Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, Houston, love uh, the Intercontinental Houston uh, Airport there, and um, I got to to hang out. But I just wanted to fan brag about Carrie Conley. Uh, my girlfriend Carrie is amazing. No, so, so stop it. You did it. You can't say your girlfriend, Carrie. She's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. She's not your girlfriend. I wish she was my girlfriend. Yeah, but she's not. She is my girlfriend. No, she isn't. She's no, been my friend, she and she's isn't. a girl for a very long time. Your friend. You can call her your friend. She's Anyways, my girlfriend. I had her first. I am a gentleman. Carrie uh, came in and filled... Her and I are going to get matching phones together. <sighs> Carrie used to be my friend. <laughs> she did a great job. I mean, I was super impressed with, uh, you, know, you know, there there are some people who uh, get really, really nervous being a co-host uh, with us, and Carrie just fits in perfectly. So I just wanted to fan brag about Carrie Conley, Infinite Nation, infinitenation.com. She can help you get your vision on. She's um, She actually posted a save the date for her Success Unleashed Summit coming up in January. She posted the save the date? Yes. Because she posted to me. Let's date. Save the date okay. on January 16th and 17th. I'm teasing about that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that when she wants to go on a date with you? It's January 16th. Is that what she told you to it's put exactly in your calendar? The date. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be there too. <laughs> January 16th and 17th. Why are you going to go ruin day. stuff like that? A two day conference. I didn't ruin it. She's my friend. She's my girlfriend. Fine. Just saying. Uh huh. Sam Bragg and Friday, we open up the phone lines. We did have full phone lines of fun Fan Bragg stories. If you can't call in on Fridays, you can always write your Fan Bragg stories mm -hmm. on our Facebook wall. And, and right now, that's been the MO. Write them on our Facebook wall. But right. starting on Wednesday, new behavior. You're going to go to our website, experiencepros.com, and leave your Fan Braggs there. Right? Right. I love it. I know, right? Right. I know. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, anyways, fan bragging coming in on Friday. I was going to try and pull up some fan bragging stories from our Facebook wall. Too busy trying to mark your territory. I'm, um, well, there's, there's, um, there's a lot of stuff that happened, um, in the, since the weekend. So there's no fan bragging stories. It's way, way buried. Well, um, and I had them up. But now they're not, folks. There's there's lots of good news, and uh, you know something here. Here's the truth: we started fan bragging Friday because we believe that a rising tide lifts all ships. When you say something nice about somebody else in business, the thought behind it is it benefits everybody in business. So we want to encourage you to uh, stay tuned on experiencepros.com. But uh, any day that ends in Y, you can always go to our Facebook page and drop us a note about where you received exceptional service. Casper was fan bragging about Highland Ranch travel. He won a trip to New York City. They went this weekend. And oh, I'm and, and we have to go to a quick uh, top of the hour uh, station ID. But we will be back after these messages. Please don't forget, we are the most positive business talk show in America. And we've got fan bragging and other things, good things, coming up right after these messages. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560.
Field Guide to the Gross Emitter. A gross emitter is a car that spews out offensive, nauseating exhaust smoke at a high rate, also known as a junker, rattle trap, rust bucket, heat. A single gross emitter can pollute 100 times more than a new car. Why go through all the inconvenience of selling or trading in your gross emitter? After all, that old car will just continue to grossly emit. It's so much easier for you to simply donate your polluting clunker to the nonprofit Clear the Air Foundation. Your unpleasant, odiferous hunk of junk will be crushed and recycled, so its acrid exhaust will never again darken our skies or our lungs. That way, we can all breathe a bit easier. To learn how to make gross emitters an endangered species, visit ClearTheAirFoundation.org. You may qualify for a tax deduction as well. That's ClearTheAirFoundation.org, an initiative of the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association, aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Freedom. Liberty. Truth. KLZ AM 560. KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at KLZ560Radio.com. KLZ. 560. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John DeMaster. Charges set to be filed today against Alton Nolan, the terrorist who beheads and kills a woman at a food processing plant in Moore, Oklahoma. The radical Islamic terrorist who beheads a woman in Moore, Oklahoma at a food processing plant will be formally charged with murder this Monday. Alton Nolan, 30 years old, could also be facing federal charges. He beheads and kills a former female co-worker with a knife after he's fired. A second woman survives and is still in the hospital. His mother now speaking out. I want to apologize to both families. This is not Alton. That's the Blaze Radio's Robin Walensky. More airstrikes overnight against ISIS terrorists. Coalition forces launching airstrikes on targets in northern and eastern Syria, hitting a gas plant controlled by ISIS and injuring fighters there. The president admitting on an interview with 60 Minutes that the administration underestimated the situation in Syria and how it led to the rise of ISIS. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 50-plus job sites, including Craigslist, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. No juggling emails or calls to your office. Quickly screen candidates, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. You've been listening to The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, 5 to 8 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of Lists That Save My Business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. Uh, we, we didn't finish. We did not finish the fan bragging stories because I was tooling around and I didn't have them pulled up. But on Facebook, Faith Young did a, did a fan brag. To, she says, my fan bragging goes out to Sabrina Risley, the oh. Powerhouse Network, with her 11th anniversary party on Tuesday night. She was able to connect with some really awesome people. Um, and it was. It was the 11th anniversary. Uh, pretty much everybody in the Denver metro area was at the party. It's Certus Professional Network. They, they do such a, a fantastic job of, of networking. And uh, Sabrina has stood the test of time and really developed it into a great brand. And Teresa Grasmick from Teresa Marie 
Marie Grassmick from Lions Share Property. She says, I need to do a big shout out to Philip Aronoff. He does her bookkeeping and help, helps me stay on track. He's now handling all my bookkeeping. I can't tell you the peace of mind that I have knowing that my accounting is right, even through an REC audit, Lions Share Properties. Right. Um, and then Casper Stockham and his wife, Cheryl, won the trip to New York at Winnapalooza back in May. Yes. Brought to you by Highlands Ranch Travel. Right. Um, and so they were there this weekend, and he was posting some videos and some fun stories about that. And they're going to actually call in on Friday to talk about From their, New York? their trip. Well, they, no, they were oh, there this be, oh, weekend. Okay, gotcha. They were there this weekend. Right. Um, and so, Eric, I'm, I was tooling around online. And do you yep. know what today is? Um, I'll just tell you. Monday. It is, but it's. We've got a few extra words we're going to put in front of Monday. Mm, what could it be? Get stuff done. No, that's not it. It is get stuff done Monday. No, it is, it is. not. It is the chief. You're making that up. The chief marketing officer from Porch.com, Asha Sharma. She said when she started at the company two years ago, she um, she decided to start this idea of get stuff done Monday. So instead of so two years ago. Yeah, and yeah, Mondays being this backlog of emails and meetings and all of that, right. um, they decided that they were going to do Get Stuff Done Monday. So here's how it works. Every Monday, the leadership team gathers on Monday morning to go over the previous week's analytics from sales and customer support operations. No, no, no. And they set detailed goals for the upcoming week and discuss any challenges that might get in their way. And then they go and they get stuff done. No more meetings the rest of the day. They don't go through their inbox in their email. They get the stuff done that they said they would do. It became more than just charging through a to-do list. It became a lens in which they see the work week ambitiously and purposely. You know, I don't think it's appropriate for you to People uh, are jazzed use to get the work done. The methodology of the radio show to I know. pitch your agenda. I love it because I, you know, instead of like well, you know, you just kind of like what came in over the weekend, they don't even check their inbox until Monday evening. <laughs> <laughs> All that stuff. They just it's never gonna happen. It could. Uh, <laughs> it could. We could have could. get stuff done You're Monday. You're using the radio show to pitch your personal agenda, and I think that's completely inappropriate. Here's what's happened Let's in the see two if years. The tall blondes Here's agree what happened. with me. They went from a handful of employees in a basement. How many of them that were there? Handful. It was a handful. It's a measurement. Anyways, it's about they met in in one of the, they met in somebody's basement. Yeah. Now they have handful. Two hundred employees <laughs> in a 300,000 square foot office space. Wow. And the energy and the momentum, it the sets bills. the tone for the rest of the week. Do you know what else I came up with? I actually went to um, Rachel Jane Groover's um, Impact, yes. Live Impact Well yes. seminar over the weekend. And she talked about this revenue tracking form uh -huh. that each day you're tracking your revenue. Oh. And here's something that is small business owners, this is going to be an ouch. If you get to Friday and you didn't bring in any revenue, you took the week off. For all intents and purposes, your business was closed. closed. Can you afford to be closed all week? How about even for a day? Is your office closed today? Get stuff done Mondays. Eric, we're going to get stuff done. Okay. Let me know how that works out for you. By the way, today is National Coffee Day. And, uh, you do that every day. No, no, no. no today this is, is National Coffee Day. And if you go to Dunkin' Donuts and a whole bunch of other coffee locations around the city, you can get free coffee. You're welcome. Oh, no. Get stuff done. Whose tip was better. Stay at the office. Get stuff done. Uh, all right, folks. We've got to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we've got Pete, Le Pete Leckaby, and he's going to talk about L2, Learn, Lead. John Maxwell coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Hi, ladies. This is Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara. And all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. 
and to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them. It's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lori Ann Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori is your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back to work needs. Call Lori today, 303-419-3415. That's 303-419-3415 or online at lauriancom.com. That's L-O-R-I-A-N-C-O-M-M.com. Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show right here on KLZ 560. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. Are you learning? Are you leading? Or would you like to learn how to lead? Learn, lead, or get out of the way, right? Well, get ready to learn. Get ready to lead. I've got Pete Leckenby with Accelerate Leadership Group here in the studio. There's a great event coming up on Friday, October 10th, the L2 Learn Lead Simulcast, and you can participate. Pete, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Very nice to have you, Pete. L2, first of all, what's the date? October 10th, a week from this Friday. October 10th, and what can we expect to learn? Well, you're going to see three amazing communicators, and they're going to talk about uh, growing and, and becoming a better leader. Uh, learners, leaders are learners, and uh, we're going to have three great speakers. John C. Maxwell is actually going to be teaching from his new book, Good Leaders Ask Great Questions, and he'll be teaching twice that day. And then Linda Kaplan Thaler will also be teaching, and Tim Sanders, a little bit lesser known names, but phenomenal communicators and excellent leaders as well. Now, you are actually a certified coach with. John C. Maxwell program, correct? Yes. Well, so this is pretty exciting for you. This is amazing. Uh, you know, John Maxwell, his company started the Leader Cast that they partnered with Chick Fil A years ago, sure. probably 15 years ago, and he sold that brand. And he really wanted to get this, get just incredible leadership back out to the masses. And so he started the the L2 Learn Lead brand. And this is our the first year with this and the partnership with the John Maxwell team coaches is, mm. as hosts has been uh, just a great partnership. So I think a lot of times when people hear about leadership type events, they think they've got to be the manager or the owner of a business, but that's not necessarily who this is for. 
No, and absolutely not. I think that's one of the things when I'm doing workshops or speaking is leadership is so misunderstood. And when you think about it, who's the hardest person you'll ever have to lead, well, it's the person you look at in the mirror every oh. day. And, and a lot of people don't realize that you don't have to have a team. You don't have to be the manager. You don't have to have the position to lead. You have to be excellent at leading yourself to be good in, in any area of your life. Okay, well, it's a simulcast. Pete, is it, I mean, are we still going to feel like we're right there sitting at the feet of the masters? Yes. You know, we, we put a lot of time, energy, and effort into this as a team and as, as a company to uh, bring an event that's not just like sitting there watching a movie or watching television. So we're going to have some interactive things going on during the communication you're going to get is going to be phenomenal. And, and the Embassy Suites did a great job. Uh, they just went through a remodel last year. So it, it, great facilities with great sound and, and video. So it's going to be a great event for that. All right. So Pete, uh, what, what can we expect? You know, I, I go to the to the L2 Learn Lead uh, simulcast. What, what do I expect to walk away with? You're going to walk away with, you know, a lot of events like this tend to be very high on the entertainment factor, but not super high on the tangible what can I apply into my life right away? Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, John and his team, they wanted to put together a simulcast that you can walk away with very tangible skills that you can apply into your work right away. And, you know, the, the, the topic, good leaders ask great questions. You know, it goes right to the heart of the matter. Are we willing to ask the questions to become the best versions of ourselves? I like it. I like it. It's L2 Learn Lead. It's the simulcast on Friday, October 10th. You can sign up at Eventbrite, correct? Yes, go to Eventbrite and search L2 Denver and it'll pull up. Because it is a simulcast, it's going on all across the, the country? There are 300 sites worldwide, as a matter of fact. Wow, so you're part of something really big, but sitting right here in Denver. So you, you don't have to fly, fly, you don't have to travel, you don't have to get away from your family. In fact, it's um, just the one day, right? Yeah, one day, and that's the beauty of it is it's on a Friday, it's a half day. Um, I always found getting out of the office and getting into a different space allowed me to be creative and new ideas and, and just fresh ideas come to me. It recharges me. And that's one of the goals we wanted to do is recharge people. Half day broadcast starts at 9 a.m. And you can, get out, you can get out of the office on Friday and, and sure. lead that person you look at in the mirror. And I always like when you're in a space like that, Pete, um, it puts you in a, in a place where you're really focusing on growing yourself and getting ideas. Even if the, the actual tangible ideas don't come from the stage, you're in a space where you're, you wouldn't do this in your own office. You, you hit the nail on the head is you're going to get a ton of great information at this event, but it's the ideas that you think while you're in that space that you really need to pay attention to. Who, who do we need to bring? Who, wh this is good for who? This is good. If you have a team, bring your team because you mentioned it just a little bit ago. You said the phrase, I love, a rising tide lifts all ships. Right. You want to affect the leadership at the lowest level of your organization. And, and bring your whole team with you. And if you don't have a team, bring yourself and, and bring a friend. Bring a friend and, and be accountability partners for each other. Now, the tickets are $99, but if they order before Friday. Yes, by this Friday. By this Friday, only $69. $69. Or they can bring a table, get a table for 10 people. So, again, bringing that whole team for $599. Yep, Correct. save another $9 per ticket and get them for only $60 a That's ticket. That's huge. Yeah. That is huge. All right, so Pete, uh, again, where do we go to, to get tickets? Go to eventbrite.com mm -hmm. and search L2 Denver. And the event is Friday, October 10th. Registration opens at 8 o'clock in the morning. The broadcast will start at 9 a.m. And it is at the Embassy Suites, Denver Stapleton, off I-70 and Havana. Fantastic. Pete Leckenby, thank you so much for joining us and for uh, bringing L2 Learn Lead to our attention. It, look, folks, you know John Maxwell, right? The, these folks, uh, th this is not fly by in any sense of the word, right? No, and his team he's got with them, phenomenal. Absolutely. All right, uh, sign up. Sign up this week. Make yeah, sure you save yeah. lots of money. You're going to save $30 if you sign up this week. Eventbrite, check out L2 Denver, or you know you can go to any place across the country, 300 different places if you want to get on an airplane. Absolutely. But the brightest in Denver are going to be right here. Lots of probably some networking opportunities too. Some great networking opportunities. we got some business owners going to be there, uh, representatives from larger companies in the area as well. Pete, thanks for putting this together. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me and, and working with me on this. You betcha. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk when we return. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. 
Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000204232. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No. Available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid. With American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. ColoradoSEO.com, ColoradoSEO.com, or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. The U.S. Postal Service wants to remind everyone this year to protect themselves from becoming victims of identity theft. Never give out passwords, PIN numbers, or account numbers. To learn more, visit www.consumer.gov slash ncpw. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. <laughs> The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We do appreciate you for tuning in today. Uh, it's time for business tips and insights. And on Mondays, that means it's time for Missy Miller. Hi, Missy. Good morning. How are you both? Missy, we're doing fantastic. How's the world of Mass Mutual Colorado? You know, it's fantastic. I must say. <gasps> I love, oh, I that. love hearing that. Right? I love hearing that. We get to surround ourselves with people that are just excited about the business, the products, and the services that they provide. You bet. Um, the kind of people that we get to help every single day. So love that you're excited. Missy, what are we going to talk about this week? Well, as September is coming to a close, this is the final in our series of discussions for Life Insurance Awareness Month. So, so far we've discussed the need, the need for life insurance, first and foremost, and we've touched on a couple of types of insurance, term and permanent. So today, we're going to talk about something that everyone wonders about. How much do I need? Mm. Okay. More. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that really is the most important part of buying life insurance is determining that number. You know, how much do you need? And since everyone's financial circumstances 
and goals are different. There really is no rule of thumb to tell you how much to buy because it isn't something where it's a one size fits all type of situation, nor is it a time to use a dartboard approach when determining that coverage amount. All right. So if it's, what do we do? Well, there's a lot of things that need to be taken into account. So first, right off the bat, there's going to be some immediate needs, such as funeral expenses, credit card balances, maybe a mortgage, other debts, support for loved ones for years to come, uncovered medical expenses, taxes, things like that, that would need your prompt attention. So we need to factor those kinds of things in. Then there's going to be the ongoing expenses that many people don't think about right away, like food, utilities, transportation, health care, clothing, et cetera. And down the road, future expenses such as college or retirement are factors to consider. All right. So statistically, the average adult American has coverage less than four times his or her annual income. But as you can kind of see with the examples we just talked about, when you consider all of these things that life insurance proceeds need to fund and how long the money is going to be needed, you begin to realize that your true need for coverage is oftentimes 10 or 15 times your gross annual income, Holy sometimes cow. more. Times the right. gross? Yes. Oh. Yes. And it, it often is, is based on sometimes, you know, if, if you have a tragic accident when somebody's younger and has a young family, there's obviously then those, those concerns with the young children and raising, helping to raise them as well. And, and, you know, that maybe keeping them in the same home that they've grown up in. But all of those, those bills and things that continue to come in when you have a dual income continue to come in if there's still, if the, now there's only one income. So you really have to take those things into account. See, I just told, told Jan, it's like, I just want a million dollars. Like, I thought that was an easy number. It's not going to be enough, lady. I don't think so anymore. Well, and there are just, there's a number of resources out there. Um, there's a, a number of online calculators that you can use to assist in that process. But remember, really, it's, when you're trying to figure something like this out, that really is such a core protectional piece for, for your financial stability and your peace of mind down the road, there really is no substitute for the advice you'd get from someone such as myself, a qualified insurance professional, and sitting down and meeting with that person who can conduct a thorough analysis of your needs, help you determine an appropriate coverage amount, and a type of insurance to protect the ones you love. That is invaluable. And those are the services that you provide over at Mass Mutual Colorado, right, Missy? Absolutely. All right. We need some contact information for sure. My telephone number is 303 257 5874. Give that one more time, please. 303 257 5874. You know, and it is it is a conversation. I don't think that you can just try and figure this out on your own because there are questions that Missy will guide you through that are relevant to just you and your family dynamics. Um, and it is, it's again, it's just get the information rather than go online and, you know, and try and do that all on your own. You're going to save time. You're going to save money. You're going to take care of your family. Missy, I appreciate you. Absolutely. And um, thanks so much for talking about Life Insurance Month life insurance all month long to just kind of keep that top of mind. She says that more people, what is, how many people don't have life insurance, Missy? Less, less than half. Less, uh. Yeah, less than half. And this is the month to just really be thinking about that. The, you know, we're, it's just kind of like the uh, fiscal beginning of the year for so many people just kind of getting their financial house. In I just spent the weekend, Missy, hold on for just a second. Uh, Cause I, I just spent the weekend with my father and I, I am the executor of his will. Uh, Lord willing, that'll be a long time. Uh, you know, future in, in the future, he's 86 years old and okay. he's very much uh, aware of the importance of planning ahead. And, but Missy, I think you're right. He is so far in the minority. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's uh, unfortunate because, uh, you know, life happens as we, as we've talked about before, you know, and I'll get to it, I'll get to it down the road or, you know, it's not something that I, I want to worry about right now. Right. You kind of put your head in the sand type of mentality and, you know, you, you blink and 10 years have gone by. And so it really is take the time to think about it now, you know, put, put that, that thinking cap on, you know, address those tough, tough questions and put yourself in the spot to be able to make choices because yeah. at the end of the day, if change is the only thing of certainty, flexibility and control are your only options. I so agree. I agree. Missy, your phone number one more time, please. 303-257-5874. It's Missy Miller with Mass Mutual Colorado. She's going to help you get your straight your uh, finances all straightened out so that you don't have to worry about all the stuff going on in the future. Missy, thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. Do you Google alert? Uh, I don't Google alert as many 
alerts as I think I could Google alert. Well, there are so many things that will help you. If you, you so let's talk about Google Alerts for a minute. Google Alerts is one of the services that Google provides, and you just type in Google Alerts in your search term, you'll you'll find it. Um, and you can search for, you can get an alert when something is mentioned on that great big interweb. For instance, like your business name. Your business name. If anybody is ever talking about it or mentioning it, it shows up in a blog somewhere. The only way they don't they don't send you the announcement. They don't send you the information. Especially if it's negative. Well, period. Like you just aren't going to know. Um, if you're featured in even an online magazine, they don't send that out to you to say, hey, you were featured. So if you've got a Google alert for your business name or any variation of your business name, just in case, you Somebody know. Somebody spells it wrong. Spells it wrong or, or thinks of you, um, you know, as an acronym versus your, like, are we Experience Pros or are we Experience Pros Radio Show? Are we any version of Is there that? a space between Experience and Pros or not? Right. So, uh, love that. Here's another thing you should stick into the Google Alerts, and the, these are going to help you just be more aware of what's going on in your business, your industry, uh, your, your area of focus, um, your products, your services, and the services of others in your area you know we when you want to talk about those you know rather than going doing that Google search and right. trying to find it and navigate through and what is really helpful getting that just sent into your inbox it's like some it's like hiring a virtual assistant just says ding somebody was talking about you uh, here's another one do you Google alert your personal name I do Google alert my personal I name do too. Uh, you Google alert my personal name with that too do you Google alert I do. me? Yes. Oh, you know the one that I do actually. Do not Google alert me. I I I I I do Google alert you. I, I mean, do not believe you. I, I do. I just don't Google alert. Google oh alert. Google All right. So here's the point of Google alerting your personal name, and it's important if you are in a business partnership to Google alert your partner's name. That's a good because idea. Because if something bad happens. Not even, you always say if something know. bad. I always think I, of it, something good happens. I know. You, you forget the culture we've got here. I don't. I do think you've never <laughs> forgot the culture. We're positive business talk, but we want it to be positive. And if somebody says something negative, now. I want to know when somebody's just mentioning my name, period, that we are listed, that we're po – but I think that you also want to know the positive stuff. And I think that happens more often than the negative stuff. And so researching and doing the Google Alert on your business partners, on your names, you could even do it on your employees, especially if they're out and about in the community. You can even Google Alert for your clients. And how fun is that to let them know, hey – you were just featured in Inc. Magazine online as one of the top business people to watch. And now you've got something positive. These business tips were brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Check out Missy Miller on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You're listening to the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. 
If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735 or online at MediProSolutions.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com gain your own insight into the leading cause of divorce, money. Pick up your copy of Couples Money at couplesmoney.com and discover you're not alone in your financial struggles. Couples Money is written by a married couple in the financial industry, Chris and Marlo Felton. They share their personal story of financial transformation and insights they've gained from working with thousands of couples. Couples Money, what every couple should know about money and relationships, is available at Amazon or at couplesmoney.com. Get on the same page with your spouse with easy to follow concepts and action steps proven to work. Couples Money at couplesmoney.com. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark is coming up at noon on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the experienced pros radio show. Very nice to have you back. Um, Let's continue this conversation a little bit more about the, the Google alerts and who you should be aware of, you know, and get notifications if they uh, are active in the community and or on the Google. Well, I, you know, I think when we talk about setting up Google alerts and it, you go to, you just Google, Google alerts, right. it takes you right to a page where you can create create your own alerts, see what's trending, you know, follow recommendations that Google sets out for you. But it truly is like having a virtual assistant out there saying, these are the topics, these are the people right. that you want to watch or follow or, or see when they show up in any article online. Um, whether it's an online article, a press release, Eric is saying in a negative review. Um, well, but the idea the is, I, we heard you, the idea is that you you are kept abreast of yes. the information that is going on for your industry and you're in the know. It's almost like have creating your very own personal newspaper in your inbox of saying, this is the information that I want to know about. I want to know about these market trends when they show up. I want to know about these products and these services and these people. A couple of more search terms that you should plug into your Google Alerts, your employees' names. You need to know what you know. Is, is there good stuff being said about your employees so that you can reward them? You laughing? <laughs> I know that's not what you wanted to say, but thanks said. for playing. <laughs> you also want to plug in your clients if they hit a milestone, if they've got something newsworthy that's going on out there. It's very cool to be the first one to pick up the phone and say, "Hey, saw you in the newspaper. Good job. You did a great job." I like the idea of. I had never thought about having the Google alert for your clients, but it is, it, it, it lets them know that you've got their back, right? That you're paying attention to what they're doing. Absolutely. And you know, one of the things that we do on our Facebook wall, mention all of our members, we kind of line up if right. there's a, a holiday or a day or something that's trending and say, okay, you know, today is, you know, national real estate day. Coffee. And so <laughs> today is national coffee day, but if it, it trends up with what all our clients are doing. So we, we talk about them, but if, um, you know, if they were following that, if they were 
looking for their own business name to be if they had a Google alert set up, they, they would, would see. see it. Yeah, they would absolutely, absolutely. See it. Uh, You know, you're at a networking event, you're uh, uh, going to, you run across an esteemed colleague, it would be nice if you knew the latest news on his or her business as well. So Google, your, or Google alert your colleagues. How about your competition? Well, that's a good idea. We don't think about it, think, think, but we want to keep up with, did they launch a new product? Did they hire a new leader? Did they open up? Did they expand the in a new location? Mm -hmm. These are, this is good stuff you want to know. You, and, you know, the alerts kind of keep you that one step ahead and it's what you can bring to your get stuff done Monday morning meeting to say, Hey, Talk we about should be get stuff done Monday. You know, uh, Pete Lackenby was in here with us. Uh -huh. He used to work with Home Depot. Yes. They did a Get Stuff Done Monday okay. um, for a while. Then he quit. Well, you know, but and at the time, it takes all the meetings off of your plate and the and the 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 dull, dry, slow entry into Monday and says, we're getting stuff done. And when we get her done, we get excited and we create revenue and our business is growing and all that other stuff the can wait until later on in the week when you're less when you're less e effective okay uh, more Google Google terms you can uh, put into your alert how about um, industry news industry trends networking events actual events hmm. who's gonna be where what's going on you, you, these these are important um, stocks stock if you're watching a particular stock All right. and you can't watch the ticker you, oh, so certain ones will just show up. Yeah, you can absolutely. monitor it right there. Again, it's like having your own virtual assistant creating your own special newspaper as, just for things you want to know about. As the stock surges, because that's what they always do and gives you lots of money. Okay, you want to know if that stock crashes, right? You want to know if you're losing money left over or right, and you've got to make sure that you you know. I'm just saying. Yes, I, we know. We, right. we know what he's saying. Right. For the negative news, because when you're creating a newspaper for yourself, it's got to be full of it's negative news. It's not going to be full of negative news, but answer this question. And we'll stick with the stocks. Let's just say you've got Here's ABC Company, and, and you've got a stock, and it goes belly up. Don't do you, you find... want to know now, or do you want to know when you're broke? Don't you find that the negative news just bubbles up anyways? It's like it gets to you. It shows up through Facebook. It throw, shows up. Throw it throws up, the whim it throws and up have, in the chatter. Yeah. Like the negativity finds its way to you. You do not have to, That's right. to sh ask for it to show up in, in, in your face. It does. You know that I am right on this topic. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this a right versus wrong? In Am this I case, wrong? it in this... certainly so is. So I'm wrong because I no, want the positive news. I'm no, not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm living in news. my bubble. That you always that want the positive news, and I think it's a good thing to have the positive news. But on the off chance that bad news happens and it will affect you, your brand, your business, your colleagues, your employees. You need to know sooner rather than later. So listen to me. You can't help it because he's yelling in our ear. Put their names and their brands into the Google alert. And let's all hold hands, sing kumbaya, and pray to God that everything happens positive. Are you but mocking if it, me, no, kumbaya? I'm not. I'm saying the negative stuff gets to you you don't have to go searching for it and have it show up it, it does shows up. get to you eventually it's, it's fast. you don't want it to get to you slower than than faster you want that news right now so you can put a stop to it right now sure right. What your fire? son can be out what roller fire? skating and break his arm and eventually he's going to walk over to you with that dangling arm and you're going to say well let's go to the doctor or you could know right now johnny needs to go to the doctor right now this makes sense to you just saying Charlie gets home with a broken arm and take him to the doctor <laughs> we'll be back after these messages on the experience pros radio network the experience pros are here to help you get your business right to learn more visit experiencepros.com run a business and 
have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon on toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Mark your calendars for October 1st for the unveiling of the brand new Extreme Customer Service Directory. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place to find companies offering the best in customer service. The new directory is the very best place to feature your company for more visibility. And the Extreme Customer Service Directory is the only place to fan brag, leave five-star reviews, promote your favorite companies, and share the revolution of kindness in business. The new site launches on October 1st. Take part in the excitement that comes by combining radio and internet marketing for the best in business. We're launching the new site on October 1st. Be sure to tell your friends. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in... Denver. They've been having companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit RivieraFinance.com. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark, today at noon on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. I I don't understand why we can't just go, go together. We can go together, Not, like at like at the same time. Yeah, and both get our new phones at the same time. If you've been listening to the show from the very beginning here, uh, Angel announced that uh, because I expressed an interest Not in getting because. an iPhone six. Not because she now has to get one, and she's decided she wants to get it first. It's Tra- the way Charlie, it always works. Charlie, are you getting the new? Phone? I got you an iPad. An she no, didn't have no. an iPad, so what did she get? I took his. My iPad. Uh, I got a computer. She didn't want to have an old computer. What did she get? No, wait a minute. New computer. I got the new computer first. Stick with me in the illustration. I want a new phone. No, I'm getting a new one. I know. I know. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm You're gonna, gonna s- go out and get the new fancy. No, no, it, it's the Air, so it doesn't have a CD drive. Fancy. It weighs nothing. Right. It weighs nothing. That's I'm what I'm so, looking for. Yeah. Um. 
And so I am doing that now, but it's time to upgrade the phone and get the new it phone is. and the six is out. And, and so I was talking with my daughter who it's time for her to get a phone. And, mm -hmm. and so we're, I'm just going to get the phone. My husband, he's so cute. He's like, okay, so angel, if, um, if you get the, I, I don't know, whatever the six, the, or the the, six plus. Well, no, no, before that, oh. before that, like the older one, that one is free. And if you get the this one, this one's only fifty dollars. And and he's like, and if you get the six, it's you know like two hundred dollars or whatever. He's like telling me all the prices. I'm like, yeah. well, you know, we're I'm getting the six. He's right. like, well, but the other one. Oh, he's actually trying to convince Alicia, my daughter, the one that's free or the one that's nothing. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> wants last year's, last decade's hand me downs. No, but I got good news for you. What's that? Actually, uh, you you can get your brand new phone, mm -hmm. and have all unlimited service? Yeah, I saw that commercial. No, no, no. Oh. And it's 50 bucks a month. Yeah, I saw that commercial. You did? Yeah. That's a good deal. You know, I think it is. Um, we've got this family thing going on. And <sighs> yeah, when there's five phones, it's we're going to got a family got. deal. No, yeah, I know. All I've right. got a family deal. All right. I've got a family deal. But okay. for you, I think you should do that. You should absolutely totally do that. Totally that. Um, and I think, yeah, because that's the network you're on, and I think you'll be very happy with right. that. Um, you know, and here's the thing. These these devices, which I do feel a little bit more like, almost like the Borg, right? Like, we can't function. Like, this is our battery, is futile. Our battery pack, and we can't leave the house oh. without it, right? Uh, 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 naked. And we can't, uh, we can't do anything really without our devices these days. I feel a little bit, yeah, robotic. Um, but they, 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 they tricked us, they, into it's a crutch. Like this phone is now a crutch for everything. Well, you let's, can't let's, drive around town without like hooking up your little Google Map thing. All right, all right. You let's can't, see. You can't go to the to the Starbucks without shaking and waving your little Starbucks. I'm gonna pay with my phone thing. You can't. You don't have the you don't have the shaky pay thing. No, what what, the, what? You shaky pay? You don't shaky pay? The heck is shaky pay? Well, I don't know that it's not it's not called shaky pay. I don't know, but you shake your phone, and time for an intervention. There are signs that you're spending too much time on your cell phone, and I think we're going to figure it out. It Number is a one, complete crush. Do you shaky pay? Do you shaky pay? If you don't shaky pay, why don't you shaky pay? Oh my gosh! Number two. You look at your phone while you're bored at church. We even use our phone now. I can't get in the house you, without my phone because it opens up my garage door. What? Right? Don't yeah. you have one of those little plug-in little doohickey? The the the. But what what are you doing there? Just look. Yeah. Ah. You shaky pay, and then they just scan that. Sh shake to pay. Wait, shake wait, wait, to pay. pay. Holy cow! You're buying coffee tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Just looked at your balance. You need a shaky pay. I now Shake have, it. Now I have to have a, a, hey, yo. I have a, a hey, yo. password on my phone, and now the find my phone shake it, alert. Shake it. Shake it like yeah. a Polaroid right. picture. Um, do you do you look at your phone when you're in church? I Tell don't. the truth, lady. I don't look at my phone when I'm at church. I know you're taking notes. Um, well, my daughter brings her little mini iPad, which I love the mini iPad. I might have to switch at my church. daughter for that. She takes notes on it. Yeah. And you know, and no. they've no, no, no. The church has you download the notes like right there. You pull up oh. your iPad. I mean, it's very. We're, I go to very high tech tech church. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder if Jesus goes there. He uh, does. Uh, let's just ask. I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. With three or more, <laughs> <laughs> two or more, where he's there. Use your phone. Well, yeah. <laughs> don't you know? And when we talk about you, talk about how in it the whole Jesus at church thing, the end times, and they say how everyone will know at the same time. It's because of the internet. No, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, it could be because uh, this guy turns black and there's a guy on a white horse. I'm just saying. We're all going to be, we're all going to have an alert. Do you have an alert for the end? <laughs> Look, Jesus Google is alert coming? Jesus. Yeah. That's possible. <laughs> We mean no disrespect no, by this conversation. No, none at all. No, not at all. And uh, if you, if we disrespected you, or if we offended you, you misunderstood, you misunderstood us. us. Absolutely. Uh, you use your phone as a crutch in socially awkward situations. You know, like when you get in the elevator. When I get in the elevator, whoosh, out comes the phone. You know what I do I is like if I'm walking around like in a parking lot mm -hmm. all by myself, I pull out my phone and I pretend I'm talking on it, well, because I want somebody to not think I'm all by myself. And I say, yeah, I just watched. I just watched this man in a trench coat walk by me. Uh huh. He's about five foot tall. Well, actually, he would be taller than that. 
and I describe him <laughs> into my phone. All right. I wasn't scared of him at all because he's five foot tall. <laughs> How tall are you? All right. It's, stop. <laughs> um, all of your alone time is spent on your phone. Well, yeah, you're playing games, that's you're all of shopping, my time. you're doing the Pinterest Absolutely. thing. Like, what yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah that makes all sense. Of my time. Um, how many things do you have in your Facebook newsfeed? Oh, you mean the little notifications? Yeah. Well, there aren't any because I already checked <laughs> There's them. There's none. You consistently have zero new well, items. At the moment, there in are your four. Facebook. There are four. You're on the radio. Yeah. Now, and frankly, there's probably been 400 by the time we started the show. You've been Facebooking all day long. <laughs> um, it's the last thing you see before bed and the first thing you look up in the morning. Well, you're setting your alarm. Mm -hmm. You're looking at your calendar to yeah. see what you're going to wear tomorrow and where you've got to be. And and uh, you got to do the little it's unhealthy the little game where you got to get your free spin at you're 10, married. 10 o'clock at night. Take a look at your husband. He's there. Well, I see I'm him. I'm just saying. I see him. I mean, he's there. I don't mm -hmm. have to. I don't have to. See, this. these are seven signs that Angel's spending too much time on her phone. I have no issue because I am single. This Wait is just, this oh, is seven signs minute. to prove that I'm single. It's That's okay all. because Absolutely. you're single. Absolutely. So what are you going to do? You if... check social media updates at traffic lights. Busted. Yeah. Busted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then parking lots and while I'm waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And finally, does airplane mode induce an anxiety attack? Now, actually, I almost always have my phone on airplane mode. You turn off. I do. I turn off. I turn off my ringer. We had an, an, a situation at our home a couple days ago where um, Jay says to me, Angel, you need to keep your phone with you because when I go to bed, actually, I don't check my phone last thing. I keep it in my purse, which is nowhere even in my bedroom, and, I, and it's usually on silent. And we actually got rid of – we can get rid of all the landlines in our home because we have a home office and we have uh, some office phones, some landlines in the office, but there's no other landline in the house. And, in fact, we just had our kitchen painted. We took the wallpaper off that was up for like 14 years, mm -hmm. removed the wallpaper, and there is a jack in the kitchen, right, for your phone. You know jack? There's like a phone jack, right, yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. I actually had a wall phone, a hanging wall phone with a cord hanging in the kitchen. It was vintage. I loved it. Our listeners know what those are. And so when we took the wallpaper down and we decided we are not going to have the phone in the kitchen anymore, we actually even removed the wall jack and drywalled over and textured over so there's no kitchen phone wow. not even not even where a kitchen phone used to be no no sign of a kitchen no phone no sign of a kitchen phone right yeah so my husband not my husband my son we're talking about landlines and he, and when we first moved into our house which was 15 years ago I thought someday they're going to be teenagers. They're going to want to have phones in their room. We made sure that all the bedrooms had phone jacks installed in the construction phase of the house. Right. Never used them. Not one. Because they got to cell phone phase before before they were teenagers. Right. So they never had a landline in. The, and and I thought, well, even if they don't have a landline, they're going to need the internet. Do you remember you had to plug into the, I, I <laughs> the do. wall to the internet? Ball, be I thought ball, I was being be. so forward thinking. No. And Michael says, Mom, I've never had a landline in my room. Well, we still had. We just did a big purge over the weekend. And so we're getting rid of stuff. And I came across the wall phone. I said, well, before I donate it. Do you want it in your room, Michael? I could hang it on your wall next to your gaming system. <laughs> Did he say yes? He said no. He thought I was nuts. <laughs> really? Uh, all right. Well, a little vintage memorabilia. I thought maybe we would uh, do that. It's all vintage, right? I mean, phone's a crutch. Um, it is a crutch. Yep. It is a crutch, and I do on occasion turn it off. And but those are my choices. Like I get to. I say who, I say when, and I say off, and and I'm okay with that. I do have people kind of freak out when they can't get in touch with me, though, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll know, baby step my uh, way into it. That is them, and, and uh, you know, I, I I was gone over the weekend. You're right, I go away, but I don't really ever go away. Um, but I have learned over the years to respect your weekend, your. You know, Eric said he, you know, on home, Facebook, it'll it'll tell you like when somebody was logged in, oh, yeah. or like, you yeah, know, this person's like, online now. You didn't this even touch your phone using, since Friday. Yeah, it says it's been two days. It's clear, you hadn't touched your phone since Friday. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, that's all right because it's your Friday. It's you know, it's my weekend. I do. I kind of go into my little my little shell, 
and then I come back out on so Monday for get we, stuff done Monday. Uh, so can we go together? To get the phone? Yeah. I think we probably should. All right. Yeah. All right. Good <laughs> Otherwise, a war might ensue. Seriously. Who's going to get their phone first? Angel always does. I would have, but I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. Folks, on behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros Radio Show happen every single day, we want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in, for participating in this, the most positive business talk show in America. We encourage you now to do something crazy. Give somebody a 20-second kiss. You know you want one. That stands for kindness is so simple. It takes 20 seconds to say something nice about somebody else. <laughs> This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.